and get less press. Shoulders width apart. Thank you very much. Second position in case your therapist needs to know. Lift your heel into third. Our arms, I didn't say this because I just started doing it and I wasn't really thinking about it. But our shoulders are rounded down. Our arms are in preparatory position. We're going to point baby toe and drop your heel. Now hopefully your heels and toes should line up. This is amazing. And then we lift that heel into fifth heel and toe touch. I think she's been practicing. A few seconds into first. Left side, point, and drop, lift, and third, squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze them, squeeze them. Point that toe, drop your heel. Now remember, you want that heel and toe to be lined up with each other, right? And that's all about if your hips are straight into fifth, when you point that toe front. Right? Because the second you put your toe over here, your hips are facing that way, right? So if it's right in front and your hips are aligned, then when you drop your toe, boom, you're in fourth position. Right? Yes. Okay. Um, we know feet. Let, oh, no. Let's do, let's do this first. <clears throat> Prep to our position, please. First position, hands together and toes apart. We're going to bring it up to first, open to second, up to third, front for fourth, up to fifth, where you can see your hands without moving your head. Open, over, down. Again, other side, first, second, now we're going to lift this hand, third, fourth, fifth. Open, over, down. Let's do it one more time each side, just you know, to make sure we're all loose and happy. And please watch that hand, that fourth position hand. <clears throat> when that hand moves from here to here, you still want to have that nice round thing going on. Don't squeeze it in, right? You're not holding the baby. Drop the baby. Never mind that baby. It's not baby. First, <laughs> elbows lifted, second, third, fourth, fifth, open, over, down. I don't remember which side I just did. Hopefully it was so I did now I'm gonna do this one. Fourth, watch that baby. Go back, Pam, go back, Pam. Watch that baby. <laughs> it was way up here. There you go. That way when you lift it, it matches. Like, see how I, I never move my arm when it comes from here? It's like a Barbie arm. It is like a Barbie arm. That's perfect. Open, over, down. Now I'm looking for our weights. If you feel anything, and I mean anything, you put those I weights know. down. Because you don't need to do it with weights. I yeah, shot and Chris needs to do it with weights. And I need to do it with weights. You do not need to do it with weights. So some feedback I received. Some of the stuff that we do doesn't seem hard. Now we, we all know, right? It's like sneak attack. Oh. Yes. And because I like to continue to challenge us. See, this doesn't help with hand position, which is why I don't love it. But it's going to really make you think about your arms. So, preparatory position. So, your weight should be facing the front because your hands would normally be like this for preparatory position. So my palms are up, my thumbs are in. Holding the weights forces you to, to make your thumbs in. Shoulders back and down. My hand are in good position. 
if you could just round those elbows, there you go. Now lift it first. <laughs> Open to second. Now we're going to take this one up to third. And it still wants to be round. And now my palm is facing my head. Right? Then we're going to bring that, that left arm front. And then up to fifth. And notice my weights are not over my head. Because I have my fingers up, I know that they're facing each other, right? And then open, turn them over, and down. Oh, and let them flow loose for a second. That was a little different, huh? It is. Happy face over here. They're <laughs> puppy. All right, preparatory position. Again, think about the position of your hands because it's important, right? So we're going to bring them up to first. Just below your shoulders. Keep those elbows poked out. Open to second. Now we're going to lift this one up to third, fourth. No hold the baby, that's good. Fifth. <laughs> Open. Turn them over and down. Okay, and let it, let it come out. There's no. I Shift over to my mat and 
Up. <laughs> Let me come from it. Shift. Down. And up. Open. Shift. Point. And up. Open. Shift. Down. And up. I keep wanting to end on this one, but this is really the right one. I know. So we're going to end on this one. Last one. Point. Down. And up. All right. Shake it all up. We started to do the prep for HFA last week, right? <clears throat> and it had that same point and shift thing going on. Um, so I'm gonna just put this creep on me or I was creeping on it. See you back So um, we're gonna start with the point and shift. So tondu and shift. Where am I going from here? Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> two first. That's where we're going. We're going first. Pam knows it first. First position, heels together and toes apart. It's so funny. Arms in second, please. Thumbs are down. Oh, I meant not pointing up like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're, we call them soft hands. Right? When they're this way, they're like, ah! <laughs> that, that's nice, soft That describes our life. Yeah, soft hands. So we're pointing, we're shifting to first. Pointing, shifting to first. Point, shift, and this is a very, very, very modified version. But I want you to get that, that toe pointing and the shifting. And we did it in the other ones. We don't need to do a ton of these. But I just want to get that same motion again. Because A K, stop here. A K is you start first, right? You do a little out to second, and a little back to first. A K. <clears throat> and so the goal is not to get high off the ground. The goal is to think about your toes, actually, if you want to know the truth. So we have the demi plie before and after as a cushion, right? So we're not going to like hurt our legs or our knees or anything. But what I want you to think about is those toes. Because what I don't want you to do is that. <coughs> That's me. <laughs> I wasn't even in. I didn't say anything to anyone. So what I want you to think about is my toes are kind of um, connected to the floor. Like there's something holding down there. And even though my body goes up a little bit, my toes are still going to point down to the floor. And even if it's just a little bit down and not all the way like perfectly pointed down, I'm not looking for perfect. I'm not perfect. No, what I want you to do is get the motion. So we'll demi plie, and then we're just going to scoot. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Woo! It's a 
four, three, two, one more set, and releve and down, releve and down, four, three, two, one, open, or bring them down. Yeah, when I squeeze my butt, I have great balance. But as soon as I'm like, trying to do all calves, we did right foot in front, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. So now I can do that. <laughs> I know, it's, I'm like, it's my left foot in front. Sure it is. You think I'd be able to feel it in my legs, but it's not okay. No, all right. you get confused. I actually fit this really, I'm liking fits a lot today. I'm getting a lot of good squeezing of my yeah. inner thighs and glutes because my legs are together. So I can really squeeze a lot. She's excited. I know she's excited over there. So up two fifths, right? Arms rounded. And again, not too far back. That would just mess you all up. And ready? Here we go. And releve and down. Releve. You really have to be centered, right? Four, three, two, one. And releve and down. Releve and down. Four, three, two, last set. And releve and down. Releve and down. And four, three, two, one. All right, move those legs. That was my two spots I wanted to do weights on today. That I changed up a little bit. Well, and I really like the releve too, but I'm like, how can I change releve up so you're still doing it, but you're, it's right. a little, you know, because your body gets used to when you do the same thing all the time. But I don't want to stop doing them. Yeah. No. So, yeah, you know, we might just wait you now and again, maybe every other time, maybe every time, you know. No sucks. All right. I'm going to continue to focus on that sort of, um, switching motion from one toe to the other for the theme today. Um, let's start with, so Tondu side. Actually, no, let's not do that. Because that would give us a lot of, I want to do something here. Let's do some Tondu Relevé, I mean not Rondajan. I miss my Rondajan, so we don't do that. Um, so let's Tondu front, <clears throat> right? So it's right out in front, my hips are straight. Um, my arms are probably second position. And then we're going to rond de jambe. I want you to think about that demi plie on this leg, right? It's a little bend, demi plie, right? So when you, when you rond de jambe, which is half circle, right? You bend. Thing. I want you to bend and bend around. And bend and bend around. And notice I'm keeping my leg nice and straight. And it goes from pinky toe to big toe, to pinky toe. <laughs> and Pam, you can use your chair for balance if you'd like to, right there. Wow, Tom. <laughs> yeah, you can't wait to do Sorry. I got sidetracked. I, I got out of position. And then and around. Then and around. We are not the karate kid. I'm just saying. One more. And comes first. Okay, arms. Right? They're not way back. They're not way front. They're also not. Right? It looks cool. It does look cool. I'm <laughs> not the karate kid, although I still won't do here. Right? We're not lying to the either. Right? So make sure your hands should be just a little tiny bit below your shoulders. Are you pushing forward slightly? Does that make sense? Like Yes. I don't really think about it, but yeah, because I can feel it all. Like if you had a basket or something or a big big tray of cookies or a wedding cake. Yeah. And you're gonna put it on the shelf. One perfect cupcake. Right? One big, <laughs> big <laughs> right? giant perfect cupcake. And you're gonna set it on the shelf and you just kinda push your arms forward? Yes. Is that what you feel? Like, yes. I like I'm it. I'm eating a giant coconut cupcake and putting it on the shelf. Because this is actually working on my arms right now. Just holding them like this. 
right? I feel it up in here. Actually, I feel a little bit of shake in this one. Not that it's visibly shaking, but I can feel it. Yeah. It's good. She makes you feel cool. Yeah. And sometimes I do things and I don't think about it, so I like when she like points up out of it. And I can think of some of it's automatic for me. Okay, so what were we doing? Oh yeah, come on, there's that. Let's do the left leg. Let's tone your front with that left leg. I get a pinky toe, nice tight leg. I'm squeezing my inner thighs right now, right? And then as they go around, seriously, do I keep backing up? I must be, right? <laughs> I'm trying to like at least stay in the camera a little bit, right? So let's put it back in front. So we get that little bit of demi plie and around and up. Whoa! One second. Demi plie around and up. Demi plie around and up. It's also helpful to keep your chin up, which everybody pretty much is. Right? If you look down, if you get out of alignment, two more. One and two. And back to first. There you go. She's like, is that how we do that? That's what I see. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> I know this. We need to do some more of these, right? I don't get you. All right. <laughs> She's looking at the clock. Yeah. She's like, isn't it time to stretch? Isn't it time to stretch? That's what I'm looking at. Can you ask her? Can you kill? Please be standing after. It's a fun. All right. Let's let's stretch because I would like to make sure we get to the part where we're stretching our half split. Because sometimes we don't get that far. Because I still enjoy the stretch and I get into it so much. Let me get to that last part. Okay. And since it sounds like we're on a little pain on Wednesday, Thursday now, getting there. Yes. Yay. We need to make sure we get there. Mm -hmm. oh. I know, right? See, my ankles, they need this little bit of something, something. And my knee is the same way now. Like, I used to spend a lot of time on my knees. And now, I... <laughs> I used to teach gymnastics, and when you teach gymnastics, you are very often next to your student like this, and helping, and not, and um, with floor stuff. So that's what I meant. Dirty minds, all these people. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> so point that front toe, um, shoulders to the front, arms up. We're going to go to parallel, so we're not going to collapse on our legs. We're going to go. We're going to go close, but not all the way down. Not yet, anyway. I want you to stretch all of this first. And then, if you want to put your hand down. Turn your shoulders to your leg. Arms up again to parallel at first. Ooh, I feel all that goodness. And then drop the hand if you'd like. So good. So full of goodness. Now we're going to come up and we're going to look around behind the knee that's bent. Oh, oh, did you hear that? It's like, I know my back went. Yeah, I did. Mine did it three times. That's good stuff. And please make sure you're up straight. So, what I don't want you to do is this. Because that, it, it, then it gets into your leg and it's not stuck in the right thing. Up nice and tall when you, when you look to the back. Thank you. And then from front, arms up. And actually, I want to make sure you don't go too far. So nice and slow. And then if you want to put your hand in down that pool. My back is still straight. Right? I am not completely rounded over. And then if you turn around. I can kind of walk my hand a little further. And come on up. And normally we 
that again flex, but we're going to leave it at point today because we did flex yesterday. And if you missed it, I'm sorry, we should have come to the class yesterday. Oh, wow, it was yesterday morning. Oh, oh. Oh, I like it. Oh. I'm just trying to get it. Just doing that hurts my person. That's how tight I am. I'm still, chest is lifted, shoulders are back and down, arms up. We're not going to slouch over. We're going to fold in half. So it's like right there. To parallel at first because then I feel like I'm with you all. Reach those arms from to your leg or your ankle or your foot or your kneecaps, whichever you can reach. Yeah, toes, bitch. Oh. This is PG 13. Right. For those at home. Although it was good when I went on vacation, <clears throat> uh, my nephews cursed like sailors, and I thought I was always going to be one of the blames mm -hmm. for that. But they watch YouTube videos. That's what they learned it, not government TV. So that was good. All right. So Chris was doing a thing with the bench, and her foot was out here, and her leg was behind. And she, uh, if you remember, we do not have a step. Okay. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so right, I'm still sitting on my butt. Right? And now I'm going to tuck that toe, right? Oh, now my toes are in too. Wow. I need to get better for three days. That's my problem. No stove in the kitchen makes it hard to eat here. Well, it doesn't. It's just, you know, you have to work at it a little more. Whatever. So, <clears throat> um, 
Although my book's on the floor right now, I'm actually sitting I can, with my hand right. I want to come up on that leg if you can. If you can, it's okay. And now if you can push up, right, so your upper body is more perpendicular. I don't know, up. It's more up. So I'm going to hurt your, your wrists. One other thing I would say to you in this wrist person <laughs> is when you lift up like that, um, and this is from gymnastics actually, when you tent your hands, this thumb is the most vulnerable oh, yeah. when you take your hands, right? So I've been doing this. <laughs> yes. So either flat palm, fist, but you don't, that poor thumb, there are more broken thumbs from, from this, from oh. people catching themselves. It's not good for you. So the other thing is, with your right hand on your right thigh, and your left hand on your left hip, mm -hmm. I can actually. Oh, it gives you a little more stability there. Yeah, and actually I'm pushing it into my hip so I get more stretch. Oh no! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna yeah. spell front. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Alright. It's like you have an attitude like, hello. Oh. Yeah. Alright, switch those legs around. Ooh, nice. Right? And we start off sitting on our butt and we tuck that knee under, right? So your knee's facing the floor. Sorry, I was like, I got something. And it's bright yellow. I'm going to scooch that back leg back. There it goes. Let's tuck that toe so you don't hurt your toes. Okay. Can you roll up? This might, this just might not be your side, Pam. Oh, there it is. That's much better. Again, please watch your thumbs. It happens in gymnastics a lot because they do vault and they run and they jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's the thumbs. Yeah. And there's the thumbs. So I literally broke my thumb. I remember those dumb things that Jimmy had to do for the government. He had to go down to get the blocks, run, and put down the blocks. They go. Presidential <laughs> fitness test. Yes, I actually hit my thumb on the floor and we're like, ah, yeah. Ah, oh. yeah. That was me. Oh. All right, come on yeah. down. So someday, eventually, when we're feeling a little looser, we're going to straighten that front leg. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Everybody will be here with their camera. I'm going to call for 911. Um, so, can we do just a couple of shoulder rolls, just because we did a little shouldery, weighty things, and then bring them front, just to make sure they're happy and okay, and all that goodness. All right. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Hope you enjoy.